Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be trying out Unify Talk. We have a Unify G3 Touch Pro as well as a Phone Touch Max. Should be a pretty fun video, so let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is unbox the G3 Touch Pro. This is the brand new phone that Ubiquiti has released uh, very recently, um, in the past probably month or two. So I'm gonna peel the wrapping off of here, remove the handset, and remove the plastic, or I guess paper, um, around that area as well. I'm gonna set it back on the phone for now. And now we should be able to grab a ethernet patch cord and plug this thing in. I do want to take a second and mention what Unify Talk is. If you have not clued into it by now, at this point, Unify Talk is a solution for VoIP phones um, from Ubiquity. So essentially what this means is that you're able to do call routing and all kinds of fancy stuff that you can do with normal VoIP systems. You can do it with Ubiquity now and it links in with your um, system nicely uh, with Unify Access. It all kind of works together real nicely. So um, it's just a great way to add on to your Ubiquity ecosystem and get a cheap and affordable option for phones. Uh, it's about 25 bucks a month for a shared line that you can use across multiple phones, assuming their subscription unlocked, uh, or it's $9.99 per phone if you're doing individual numbers. So really, really great platform that they built. I'm super excited to try it out and let's go try it out. And before we do that, I'm actually on the Unify console right here. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to actually um, set up Unify Talk on the console. Um, so basically what this entails uh, is I just basically need to go down here in the settings menu, which you probably can't see because of my webcam, uh, but we'll go over here to control plane um, and I will go to Unify Talk and click install. It says install queued. Um, and actually while that's doing that, what I can do is I'll plug that into my switch. Um, so just so we are all on the same page here, um, I do have a eight port switch that we are going to plug this into. These phones do take PoE power, um, which means that I will need to plug them into a power source there is a PoE in and it looks like a data jack out, which is really sweet. So it looks like you can have um, the phone kind of pass some data over to a computer or something, which is pretty standard in the um, VoIP world. So you'll see the phone is now booting up um, with the Ubiquiti logo on top of it. There is a privacy filter for the camera, it looks like. So if I switch this, um, you can probably not tell, but it actually does black out the camera. It's a little um, thing that goes over the camera, so that's really nice. Um, especially if you're a end user and you don't want to be watched all day. It says ready to assign and it says assign this phone to a user in the talk application. So in this video, we'll be talking about the actual talk application. I'm not sure what standalone mode is, but I'm sure that's something we can figure out in a future video. And as the talk application finishes installing, I'm actually going to unbox this other phone. This is the G2 um, phone touch max. So it's the older generation for sure, um, but it still has a lot of the same features. Um, the benefit of this generation though is the size of the LCD screen. Uh, the screen is huge. So you can see up here in the top right corner, it says Unify, um, new Unify Talk device detected. Please set up Unify Talk to adopt your device. So let's set up Unify Talk. It says, welcome to Unify Talk. And it says country, we'll select USA. We are going to agree and we'll start the setup. So it says we've detected a previous install. Would you like to migrate your numbers from a previous install? We'll select no, uh, because I'm not quite sure what install it's talking about because I have not tried it before. Um, so it says we've detected Unify Talk devices on your network and we have automatically assigned numbers in your sites to them. You can purchase specific numbers and port numbers to Unify Talk for another provider after setup. Okay, so it says it's assigned to me as the user. I'm the only user on this install because I'm the only person on this console. So it says it's assigned to me uh, with the area code of 317. So we're gonna click next. Um, and it's going to give us a couple options here. So we've got the plus plan, which is going to give us 3000 monthly minutes, 50 monthly SMS calls or text, sorry, 60 call transcription minutes, unlimited concurrent calls, free number reporting, emergency calling, uh, but you do not get the soft phone access or caller name lookups. Uh, if you go with a pro plan though, you do get um, unlimited minutes, unlimited SMS, 600 call transcription minutes, unlimited current calls, free number reporting and emergency calling. So I'm going to actually do none of those and I'm going to do the 15 day free trial right here. We'll click next. Um, it says emergency services information. I'm going to fill this in with my screen blurred out, unfortunately, but uh, that is in case I do call 911, uh, it's going to locate me in the correct spot. So um, with that being said, it's going to confirm your address right here. Like I said, this is all going to be blurred out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show you where I am just yet. But with that being said, it is setting up and checking my network and it says setup complete. That was really easy. 
So if you click the button here in the bottom left of the phone, you'll see we have options for different applications. So we can go to phone, we can go to protect, access, or identity. I'm gonna click on protect, and I have already gone through the setup process to activate the phone here. Um, but basically, I just had to go to activate.ui.com, add my phone there. Um, but what this means now is I can literally view Unify Protect cameras. You'll see that that is actually my 3D printer camera over there. Um, and it's mimicking the Unify Protect app really nicely. That's really cool. So let's go back and let's switch our app. Let's try Unify Access. Um, again, it does want us to do the activate.ui.com, so I'm gonna go do this. And now it says signing in. So basically now we should be able to go to a console right here that has Unify Access on it. Um, and we theoretically, yep, we can go through, go to a door, and unlock a door. Just like that, guys. We can also do Unify Identity stuff, so that's kind of going to be directory kind of deals um, where you've got like a bunch of people in your Unify Identity Enterprise setup that syncs with LDAP, all that advanced stuff we're not going to do in this video. I do want to go to settings here, so we do have some options here to not only work remotely, we have an option for the G3 handset, which is the wireless handset we can add. Um, display, you can change your wallpaper, lock screen, or theme. Um, you can change your sounds, your call sounds, or your status. So you can say you're available, do not disturb, redirect. Um, and you can even change all of the settings here specifically on the phone. Under advanced, you can go to network, connected devices, display, sound, security, privacy, firmware update, feedback, or system. So as you'll see, it really shows you a ton of information on here. Um, if I pick up the phone right here, you can hear a dial tone, which means the phone is actually working. Okay, so that was really easy to set up that phone. Um, Honestly, I've been recording for like 10 minutes, so that's really cool. Okay, so let's go back on here, and I do want to take a look now at Unify Talk. Um, I'm not going to go in super detail on how Unify Talk works. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with a smart attendant. You can do with a call routing that I was talking about earlier. You can do SMS texts um, once you get a actual number that supports it from Unify. The free trial does not support that, unfortunately. You can look at the call log, which will show you any user that's called anywhere. Under AI, you can also do AI transcriptions, which is really cool. Um, assignments is where you're going to add um, people to groups or people to phones, um, and you'll do that all through the assignments page. I'm actually going to go through and update this phone just because I can. Under groups, you can make groups of users. That's going to kind of be shared across the incoming calls. So yeah, Unify Talk, really cool solution. You'll see back here on the dashboard now we've got all kinds of information relating to Unify Talk. We have the trial information, the service health. Unify Talk numbers and all kinds of graphs that show the Unify Talk um, details. Under settings, we have even more settings. Um, under porting, you can port your numbers over with no cost. Um, under call settings, you can change audio, call blocking, additional settings, um, call recording. Voicemail, you can set up voicemail, you can do global contacts that are going to be available to all users. So you could actually, um, if you have a database of people, you could actually sync those into Unify Talk, which is really cool. Phone designer, you can create a phone design, emergency calling, um, obviously that's the 911 stuff I was talking about earlier, notifications, you can get emails for voicemails um, under system, we have all kinds of other stuff we can do here, um, as well as third party SIP providers, so if you have a number from a SIP provider, we can actually enter that in there. So you'll see the phone is now booting with a Unify Talk logo, and it's actually the old Unify logo, which is kind of funny to me. Um, the old logo right there, it's going to play a little video clip here. It says starting up. It's interesting, actually. The I, I assume the box was kind of yellowed out, but it's actually the icons on the device are actually the same. So I don't know if they faded over time. Um, this device was tested in 2023, according to the box. So it's quite old, unfortunately. But um, it says connection error. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. It says ready to assign. So let's go back into Unify Talk. And let's go to our phones over here. And it does seem as if it's already detected a phone. So one reason the phone is not being set up yet is because you actually have to add another user to assign the phone to a user. Um, and I'm going to assign it to the test user and uh, not give it a number because we're just going to let it just do internal calls. So I'll click assign, which means the screen should light up and we should be able to um, actually start using these phones. So you'll see here, this phone works pretty similar to the smaller phone um, in the sense that you can view Unify Protect cameras just like that uh, on a really, really, really big screen, which is so cool. Um, I don't know why it's so cool to me. It's just a phone, but um, I, think, I think it's really neat. So I'm pretty jazzed because these phones are really cool. Um, they are a little costly. Um, honestly, though, they are 
so much cheaper than like most other solutions are going to be. If we go to integrations here, um, you'll see uh, the G2 Touch Max is $299. The G3 Touch Pro is $199. So basically this phone is a lot cheaper than this one by about a hundred bucks. Um, but they also do have the G2 Touch, which is kind of the lower cost option of the G2 Touch Max. I don't know why you buy the G2 Touch when the G3 Touch Pro is the same price, but you do you. Similarly, the G3 Touch Enterprise is also the same price as the G2 Touch Max. So I don't know why you wouldn't get the newer generation. So yeah, that is Unify Talk. Um, obviously, there's so much more to it than what I covered in this video. I just want to do a brief overview of everything. Um, I can say that this is a solution that I'm probably going to be recommending to a lot of people just because of A, how easy it was to set up, B, how easy it is to maintain, and C, how low cost this is compared to other options. I know there's tons of VoIP phone options at this point in time, um, but none of them are even close to as cheap as just a couple hundred bucks a phone, very low $25 a month fee, and yeah, really, really recommendable solution and really cool progress that Ubiquity has made even between the G2 and the G3 phones. I'm excited to see what's ahead with G4. Um, their software seems to be getting better. I tried the demo a couple months ago um, and ever since that demo, I've actually noticed the software has gotten better. Um, and that's, that's really cool to see the progress and development that they are making. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a comment with questions you might have. I can answer them in, a, in another video. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video.